Great news guys, Turn 10 have finally told us what changes they are making to the car progression system in one of the upcoming Forza Motorsport updates. They've just published a blog post detailing all of the planned changes, adjustments, everything they have in terms of the car progression system. We're going to read through the blog now and see if they've made the right decision. It looks pretty good. Once you've read the blog with me, I want you to go to the comments and tell me exactly what you think, as I'm always curious about what my viewers' opinions are. Let me know. So, Forza Motorsport car progression updates. Today, we're outlining important changes to the car progression mechanic in Forza Motorsport. These updates will give players freedom to equip the parts they want to install to their car regardless of car level, while retaining aspects of the system for those who enjoy it. So that sounds great off the bat. So it sounds like if your car's level one, you'll just have every car part unlocked from the bat. We will remove the locked part mechanic so all car parts can be accessed at the car level one for every car in the game. Once a car is added to your car collection, you can install upgrades to it in any order that you wish. So engine swaps, race tires, aspiration changes, body kits, anything is it's just available from car level one straight away. However, car points are still a thing. Secondly, in addition to earning car points through leveling up the car, you will be able to use in-game credits to acquire car points. So that seems like the main concept behind their change is they're keeping the car point system but they're going to let you buy car points. So this means you can begin to immediately install upgrades to your car if you have sufficient credits, or if you would rather save your credits, you can still earn car parts through leveling the car like before. So it's kind of kept the same system, not really adjusted that much. They've just added the ability to buy car points. So technically that means now if you have enough credits, you can just buy a car and fully upgrade it to the max without ever having to do any races. Well, that is massive, that is really good. But if you still want the grind, you can still just not spend your credits on car points and still earn them by leveling up the car. I think they've kind of done quite well here to sort of meet both grounds. We're testing a ratio of 4,500 credits for 500 car points. Based on the feedback, feedback they collected, we can expect this to provide a healthy balance. That means if you're upgrading the 2021 Volkswagen Golf R with all parts available at level one, it will cost just under 90,000 credits. Ooh. So 90,000 credits to fully upgrade a Volkswagen Golf R. This sounds quite good. In the case of the BMW M4, all of their parts amount to 125,000 credits, and the Nissan Fair Lady Z is 133,000 credits. So, to me, this makes me happy for the issues I have with the game and how I don't like the car progression system. I don't think I hate it as much as other people do. Brand discounts will remain as they currently are. When a car reaches the maximum car level 50, a showroom discount of 5% is applied to future cars you purchase from that same manufacturer. If you get five cars from the same manufacturer to car level 50, the loyalty discount stacks to 25%. The time needed on track to reach car level 20 will remain between two and three hours. So they've made no changes to how fast you upgrade your car, or sorry, how fast you level your car. No changes to how quick you get car points. It's just adding the ability to buy car points. That's kind of the, the main clicker here. And you can really see how they've tried to keep so many aspects of the old system in play here. With the 25% stacked brand discount, that still encourages you to want to level up your car to go and get them brand discounts. So I'm presuming if you get two cars to level 50, it'll give you 10% three cars will be 15% all the way up to 25%. So it kind of does still encourage people to level up their car, even though it's not really for upgrades anymore. It's more so for other nice bonuses elsewhere. We expect these updates to car progression to roll out with Forza Motorsport update six in March, 2024. We will let you know an exact date closer to availability. Interesting, so it's not an update five, so it's not coming out with the Nürburgring Nordschleife next a week or two or whenever it is. Update six in March, so it's not a long time to wait. We know it's coming now, so I suppose we can start building up some more credits now if we're starting to sort of plan ahead. In my opinion, I don't really give my opinions that often. I think this is a good step. Now I know the game has a lot more issues than just the car progression system. This definitely isn't the just the core issue dragging it down. There's a lot of core issues, but this is one that they can tick off the list, I think, I hope. It does say at the bottom, we need to give them feedback. Now, I can't stress this enough, guys. We need to be giving them feedback. We need to be using the Suggestions Hub, ultimately. That's what this is all about. The Suggestions Hub is the main place 
I go on about this all the time, but suggestions will be so important, especially with big game-changing updates like this. The Suggestions Hub, if you don't know, is where the devs are actively looking and communicating with us about issues directly. It's our main talking point. It's so important. So if you're happy with this update, make sure your voice is known. If you're not happy with it, make sure your voice is known. Even if you're just a casual player, I would encourage you and ask you to at least give them your feedback. So that's good to see that's coming in update six. Now, if you don't know, the, the car progression system changes were one of three main points that they've kind of been more vocal about in the past few weeks. Um, a few weeks ago, they put out a statement saying, these are the three key areas we have teams working on. It was car progression, AI, and Forza race regulations. Now, we've not actually heard any updates on the AI or Forza race regulations yet. We know that to help the AI and the Forza race regulation issues, they said that they've hired marshals and people that can help, players that can help them tackle these issues. I suspect something like that takes a little bit longer to sort out because they need to see results. So there is unfortunately no word on AI or Forza race regulations just yet, which probably means that maybe it's later than update six that will actually start to get stuff like that. But with the Nürburgring coming in update five and a lot of other fixes, like I'll put up on screen right now, the current planned changes, fixes, and all the stuff coming for update five. Update five is looking quite good, even though the car progression isn't coming till March. So things are looking good. In a month from now, once we've got update five, hopefully the game is a lot more polished and then it'll only be a few weeks till we get this car progression update. We'll have the Nürburgring to play as well in a couple of weeks to cut, sort of keep us going. As I said, I would encourage you to go to the Suggestions Hub now and give them your feedback now before update six on the car progression system. You know what it's gonna be now. Let's go and make our feedback known now but this is a good sign now it does seem like the community is very divided as i keep saying all my comment sections seem so divided in opinions so and no doubt there will be a good portion of the community that aren't happy with this i'm sure if we have a look at the leaked car pass car list and have a look at the dates we should be able to narrow down when update 6 is exactly going to be march 14th is seemingly when the first update 6 car will arrive now ignore what the cars are we're just looking at the dates here march 14th is a thursday that's usually the day that things roll over now updates often come a few days before that so maybe March 12th, March 11th is the day that we should all be looking forward to for these car progression changes and whatever else is in update six. There's a good chance that we do get AI and Forza race regulation changes in update six as well. It's just they've not told us about that yet. It seems like they really think car progression is one of the biggest issues if they're telling us about that over a month in advanced. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, guys. We'll talk more about update five next week when we get it and update six when we get more information. See you later.